Are you serious? Are you serious? I, I can't wait to read this chapter. I really love this chapter. It's a powerful chapter, and it puts the devil on notice. This is Isaiah chapter 14. Certainly, uh, the prophet Isaiah giving the destiny of the devil. Get a cup of coffee, and I'll be reading from the King James Version of the Bible. Isaiah chapter 14. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them, and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them, in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaidens, and they shall take them captive, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow, and from thy fear, and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, and say, How hath the oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased? The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked, and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet, and they break forth into singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no feller is come up against us. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It hath raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. All they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? The, thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vials, and the worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which did weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit, and they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee, considering thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble and did shake kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof, and that opened not the house of his prisoners? All the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, every one in his own house. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, and as the remnant of those that are slain, thrust through with a sword that, that go down to the stones of the pit, as a carcass trodden under feet. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. 
The seed of the evildoers shall never be renowned. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and the remnant, and son and nephew, saith the Lord. I will also make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water, and I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, saith the Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass, and as I have purposed, so shall it stand, that I will break the Assyrian in my land, and upon my mountains tread him underfoot. Then shall his yoke depart from off them, and his burden depart from off their shoulders. This is the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth, and this is the hand that is stretched out upon all the nations. For the Lord of hosts hath purposed and who shall disannul it? And his hand is stretched out. And who shall turn it back? In the year that King Asa died was this burden. Rejoice not thou, O Palestinia, because the rod of him that smote thee is broken. For out of the serpent's root shall come forth a cockatrice, and his fruit shall be a fiery flying serpent. And the firstborn of the poor shall feed, and the needy shall lie down in safety, and I will kill thy root with famine, and he shall slay thy remnant. Howl, O gate! Cry, O city! Thou whole Palestinia art dissolved, for there shall come from the north a smoke and none shall be alone in his appointed times. What shall one then answer to the messengers of the nation? That the Lord hath founded Zion, and the poor of his people shall trust in it. Isaiah chapter 14, the destiny of the devil and the delight of Israel and the children of the Lord. Have a great day. It's going to be a powerful day. And don't miss today's show from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. From 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern, our guest today from Keller, Texas, Bible prophecy teacher Daryl Myatt will be talking about the Middle East, Israel, the peace agreement, and everything that's going on as it relates to end-time Bible prophecy. God bless you in Jesus' name.